Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I just purchased an old house recently and begun painting the walls. And here I needed to remove the service panel cover to paint beneath it. And now is a good time to address some issues. So when I purchased this house, two things came up during the inspection. <laughs> well, uh, actually a lot of things came up during the inspection, but we're gonna only focus on two of them in this video. One, uh, one of the breakers had a double tapped wire. And what this means is that the previous owner ran two separate wires into the same breaker. And this is bad because this is known to sometimes cause electrical fires. And then two, a uh, breaker cover was missing for one of the breaker slots. And this is also bad because I guess someone could stick their finger in the service panel, get shocked and potentially die. So full disclosure, I'm not a, a licensed electrician. This is not electrical repair advice. I am just some random homeowner from the internet. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. Anything you do, you do at your own risk. And doing this kind of work could kill you. Now with that being said, I like doing most things myself and didn't find this too challenging at all. Before removing the service panel cover, I made sure to turn off the electric from the utility service panel outside the house. And this way, I should, it shouldn't be any electricity running through the panel when I'm working on it. So this is what a double tat wire looks like. You have these two wires at the very top going into one single breaker. And we need to fix this. So even though I know the uh, power is off, I'm going to double check it using a voltage tester because I don't want to get shocked and I enjoy living. So I'm going to get a screwdriver, loosen the connection and remove one of the wires. And the wire I'm going to remove is the one that gives power to the garage. I'm going to leave the wire that controls the lighting. Pull it out just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and retighten the wire. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to take the new breaker, slide it into the slot. And it might be a little uh, tricky or troublesome to get in, so I just use a hammer, give it a few slight taps, get it in there, make sure it's in there nice and good. And then take the other wire and slide it in. And in this case I'm using a new 20 amp breaker because this is going to go to the garage, I might run some machines. But if it's just going to be flag lights, you could probably use a 15 amp breaker. I'm just going to slide it in to the new breaker and then screw down the connection. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure everything's nice and tight. And now we just gotta make uh, some space for the new breaker by removing one of the covers. I did this using needle nose pliers. Just gotta like wiggle it back and forth until it pops off. And then I'm just gonna address that second issue with the missing filler plate. And this just pops in. It'll be very easy to do. And this is what filler plates look like. You get these at any uh, home improvement store. Come in a pack of like three or four. This is what it looks like. It's got little clips on the side and just pops right in, right in really easily. And then for the last step is just hanging the cover back up. I actually find this to be like the hardest part. <laughs> just gotta line up the, the holes and the screws. Now just turn on the breakers, make sure, make sure everything works. I hope you got some value out of this and thank you for watching.